Welcome to this quick creative tutorial. We will look at how to build this. We are using Adobe After Effects with our free plugin Animation Composer together with some of our packs that you can buy, mostly the texture pack. I will be improvising a little, so I'll move here and I'll begin with this layer. It has a simple drop shadow on it. If you don't see it, I'll just change the background. Let's add some texture background. I'll go to the material and yeah, I like this paper, so I'll open it. I want a static one. Hmm, I think I want this one. Move it below and I will draw a shape layer right here. I'll place it below change the whoops change the duration i'm just trimming the layer and now i want to place a texture over both of these layer well maybe just one over the red shape layer so i'll add there hmm let's say i'll add there something like this now you know what i will add this over the text layer. So I'll select the text layer, apply as it as a texture, great, then I'll select this shape layer and I apply something else. Maybe maybe this. I think this is going to be weird. Yes, it is weird, but uh, whatever. <laughs> I'll apply a drop shadow on this shape layer. So, drop shadow. Great. Make the distance a bit bigger. And to make it look a little more realistic, I'll change the, the edges. I'll apply roughen edges effect. This is a bit too much. Maybe I will put it above. Oh yeah, this is this is great. And I will change the opacity of this drop shadow, change the distance, and here we go. The good thing is that I can now animate these layers. So if I want to animate this text layer, yeah, I can use for example our presets. I'll go to transition presets. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Position and rotate, maybe something from the overshoot category. Uh, this is a bit weird, but whatever. Uh, you know what? I'm going to add position, rotation, and scale. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. So I'll apply it as an in animation. Now, if I preview this. Yeah, I got the text animated and now I want to animate this shape layer, okay? So I'm going to be lazy and apply a preset once again. Um, I'm going to apply a scale and I want to disproportion not this, well, I cannot really pronounce this word. Um, I'm from Europe, so I have an excuse, you know. Uh, you know, X, X, axis. Good. I think this is good. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. So, I'll hit apply. If I preview, uh, it's a bit too fast. Okay, now it's going from the middle. That's not what, what I wanted. So, I want to move this anchor point here. Again, I'm quite lazy. I will open the anchor point mover, change it to the left side. And now if I preview this, voila, here we are. Good. It's not exactly the same as the other composition, but you know what, I'm going to change this texture. So I'll select this texture. And the cool thing is that when I go to the textures, material, and I'll, I'll use one of these papers and let's say this one, I can hit replace. 
that's it. Easy, easy, very easy. Now I can see that the rough on edges is doing some bad stuff to what I have here, so maybe I'll just select this layer and to the drop shadow I'll hit the shadow only, I'll turn it on. So here I am and yeah that looks much nicer. So this was pretty quick, if you like this go and check out our website, you may find some good stuff. I'm Adam from MrHorse.tv and see you in the next one.